Elon Musk just confirmed Tesla is developing two next-generation batteries, aluminum ion and sodium ion, at the same time. This isn't a random experiment. As lithium prices soar and performance limits close in, Musk is quietly preparing a supply chain shift that could redefine how every Tesla is powered by 2026. But what's the real reason behind this dual strategy? And what's he not saying publicly? Let's dive right in. in. For over a decade, lithium ion has been the heartbeat of Tesla. It powered every Model S, 3, X, and Y, fueled Tesla's rise to dominance, and turned electric dreams into everyday machines. But quietly, Elon Musk just admitted something groundbreaking. Lithium ion has reached its physical and economic limits. Not because Tesla lost its edge, but because lithium itself can no longer deliver what the future demands. Between 2021 and 2024, the price of lithium shot up by more than 200%, from around $12,000 to nearly $40,000 per ton. That spike didn't just hurt suppliers, it shook Tesla's entire pricing model. Even today, battery packs still make up nearly 40% of an EV's total cost. And when one metal can swing that much, Tesla's mission of affordable electric cars becomes nearly impossible. Then there's the physics. After two decades of improvement, lithium-ion batteries are close to maxing out their potential. Tesla's advanced 4680 cells, celebrated for their efficiency, still struggle with thermal runaway, a chain reaction that can cause fires at 150 degrees Celsius. Even with improved cooling layers and clever software management, there's only so much engineers can do when the chemistry itself becomes the bottleneck. So, instead of refining the old, Musk made the call to reinvent the foundation. That's where Tesla's dual chemistry plan begins. Not as an experiment, but as a survival strategy. Most automakers double down on a single technology to reduce complexity. Musk is doing the opposite. Tesla will now develop two entirely different battery architectures, aluminum ion and sodium ion, each designed to solve a specific problem that lithium can't. Aluminum ion focuses on speed, safety, and durability, built for high-performance models. Sodium ion, on the other hand, focuses on cost, stability, and scalability, built for the mass market. By running both in parallel, Tesla gains flexibility, the kind no other automaker has. It's not about betting on which one wins, it's about ensuring Tesla always wins, no matter how markets or materials shift. At the heart of the aluminum ion design lies a simple yet radical idea. Replace lithium with aluminum, the most abundant metal on Earth, and use graphene as a superconductor for ions. This structure creates a direct, low-resistance pathway that lets energy move faster and cooler than ever before. In lab tests, aluminum ion prototypes have achieved full charge in just one to five minutes. That's not a typo. It's faster than refueling a gas car. And since these cells use non-flammable electrolytes, the risk of explosion is nearly zero. Even at 120 degrees Celsius, they remain stable, something lithium cells could never claim. The advantages go beyond safety. These batteries last over 10,000 charge cycles compared to 1,500 to 2,000 for lithium ion. They're lighter, generate less heat, and don't require heavy cooling systems, saving both cost and weight. But there's one catch energy density. Aluminum ion currently holds around 150 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram, while lithium sits between 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. That means less range, but when charging takes 5 minutes, range becomes far less critical. 
Musk understands this perfectly. That's why Tesla is reportedly positioning aluminum ion for vehicles where uptime and performance matter most. Like the Cybertruck, Semi, and future Model S Plaid refreshes. These are machines where speed, safety, and endurance outweigh range. While aluminum ion targets performance, sodium ion is Tesla's quiet revolution for the masses. Instead of relying on expensive, volatile metals, this chemistry uses ordinary salt. By replacing lithium with sodium, Tesla can reduce raw material costs by 30 to 40 percent, freeing itself from global supply risks tied to cobalt and nickel. That's not just cheaper, it's strategic independence. Technically, sodium ion batteries use hard carbon anodes and sodium iron phosphate cathodes, mirroring lithium structure, but at a fraction of the cost. Charging times average 15 to 20 minutes to 80%, which already beats many current Model 3 packs. The safety benefits are enormous. Sodium ion cells don't ignite on contact with water and remain stable even during high-impact collisions. Thermal runaway is practically eliminated. And because they operate at lower voltages, they require simpler, cheaper cooling, further cutting production cost. The trade-off, again, is range and cold weather performance. At zero degrees Celsius, sodium ion efficiency drops sharply, and energy density maxes out around 160 watt-hours per kilogram, roughly 35% lower than lithium. But in return, these packs enable something Musk has chased since 2016, the $25,000 Tesla. That's why insiders believe the Model 2, Tesla's upcoming compact EV, will debut with a sodium-ion variant built for Asia and emerging markets. For urban commuters, daily range isn't the issue. Price is. And with sodium-ion, Tesla finally has a way to deliver affordability without sacrificing safety. Here's where Tesla's real genius shows. While most automakers are locked into a single battery chemistry, Musk is designing an ecosystem. If aluminum prices spike, Tesla shifts production to sodium. If sodium's performance drops in winter climates, aluminum cells take the lead. This flexibility creates something no other automaker can match. Supply chain resilience. Tesla won't be held hostage by material shortages, price manipulation, or geopolitical conflicts. It's the same logic SpaceX used with rockets. Own every part of the process, and you control your destiny. Imagine Gigafactory Texas focusing on aluminum ion for high-end vehicles and energy products. Gigafactory Shanghai mass-producing sodium ion packs for cost-driven markets. Two chemistries, one global Tesla ecosystem optimized by geography, climate, and demand. That's not just diversification, it's vertical dominance on a planetary scale. There's another twist buried in this plan, one that traces back to 2013. That year, Tesla experimented with battery swapping, letting drivers exchange depleted packs in under two minutes. The idea failed. Too slow, too expensive, and incompatible with lithium technology. But now, with aluminum ion's ultra-fast charge cycle and extreme durability, that concept suddenly makes sense again. Insiders suggest Tesla could revive swapping, not for all vehicles, but for specific high-usage fleets, Cybertruck, Semi, or RoboTaxi networks. In these cases, downtime equals money lost, and five-minute recharge capability makes the economics work. Meanwhile, sodium ion would power the home charging segment, vehicles recharging overnight, silently and safely. Together, they complete Tesla's new electric ecosystem. One chemistry built for speed, one built for scale. This isn't just about energy density or charge time. It's about control. 
China's KATL and BYD already lead in sodium ion production. If Tesla didn't act, it risked losing the cost advantage in global markets. Now, by developing its own versions, Tesla can compete directly and, more importantly, reduce dependency on Asian suppliers. At the same time, aluminum ion remains a technological frontier China hasn't conquered. If Tesla commercializes it first, the U.S. regains a strategic edge in advanced battery science, something it hasn't had since lithium-ion was invented decades ago. So when Musk talks about sustainability, he's not just talking about the environment. He's talking about sustaining Tesla's independence from markets, materials, and politics alike. If both aluminum ion and sodium ion reach mass production by 2026, the ripple effects could reshape multiple industries. EV costs could fall by up to 30%, opening markets Tesla has never reached before. Grid storage could drop from $300,000 per megapack to under $200,000 using sodium ion, making renewable power storage finally profitable. Battery suppliers will be forced to adapt or vanish, as Tesla redefines what in-house innovation truly means. Every move Musk makes here echoes his SpaceX philosophy. Fail fast, iterate faster, own everything critical. And once again, he's years ahead of the industry. So, what's behind the secrecy? The reason Tesla isn't loudly promoting this dual strategy yet? Because Musk knows most competitors still think linearly. They're betting everything on one battery, one chemistry, one gamble. Tesla's already beyond that. By splitting development into two paths, Musk isn't hedging. He's building a redundant empire where no single material or supplier can dictate Tesla's future. It's risk management disguised as innovation. And it sets up one defining moment. By 2026, the battery under your Tesla might depend not on what's best, but on what you value most. Do you want 5-minute charging and maximum safety? Or ultimate affordability and simplicity? That's the new Tesla equation. One chemistry for every driver. One vision for every future. As the world debates which technology will win, Elon Musk may have already changed the question entirely. Because in Tesla's future, it's not about choosing one battery to rule them all. It's about building a system so adaptive, it can never be ruled at all. And now we understand, this is exactly why Elon Musk is building two different Tesla batteries. It's not about choosing between aluminum or sodium. It's about securing Tesla's future and reshaping the foundation of global energy. These two chemistries could define the next era of electric mobility and eventually power the technologies that take us beyond Earth. By 2026, what sits under your Tesla could also fuel spacecraft, homes, and entire cities. That's the real meaning behind Musk's strategy. Building the bridge between today's EVS and tomorrow's interplanetary systems if you found value in this breakdown, hit like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more deep, fact-based analysis on the innovations shaping our future. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss what comes next. Because this isn't just about Tesla's next battery. It's about the next step in human progress.